Hey everyone, Justin here from 8 to 10. Tonight I want to do a quick overview of my vacuum setup. Um, for those that are looking to get into vacuum systems, uh, hopefully this video can maybe give you some insight and maybe a little bit of different. Um, I took a different, I've had a different, I've had this pump for about three years and there's a couple reasons why I went with this pump and I'll talk quickly about it. This pump is a Mark VI vacuum pump. It's made for veneering. It's a very expensive pump. This pump is going to cost you close to about $1,000 after you pay shipping and everything for it. It's about a $1,000 pump. Um, but it's made for veneering. So it has two modes, clamping and bagging. So bagging is going to allow me to set, I can dial in exactly how much uh, pressure uh, vacuum I want. And it'll basically the pump will be smart enough and it controls that and it maintains that vacuum. Clamping will allow me to leave it, it'll run all the time. It just will just pull vacuum constantly. What's really nice about this pump though is everything is built in this one box. So what that means for you as the vacuum former um, is basically if you're into trade shows, uh, expos, gun shows where you're going to build holsters on site. What's really cool about this is it comes with handles built in and you can basically everything's medical grade quick connect so you can buy yourself another one of these hoses with the connector and basically just plug in and take it with you and it's very simple it's just one plug right here. There it is. Plug that into the wall get your setup with get you a short hose right here run that to your your press and you're ready to go everything I'm running is quick connect there's no um, uh, having this you know wrench on it uh, wrench connectors together there's nothing like that uh, there's no need for it with this system um, now this pump pulls very hard it's a very good pump this is probably the top of the line type uh, pumps uh, what's really nice about this is I don't need to run a vac. I mean a surge tank. So there, there's no need for it. it. It does plenty fine. This there's no there's no vacuum in the system. And this is how quickly it will evacuate the system and be ready to start uh, forming holsters. That's it. We're ready to go. So very quick. That's about as long as it really runs. I mean honestly, it's about. When I, when I actually put uh, some molds in there and I start pulling vacuum, that's about as long as I need to run the, the, vac, uh, the pump itself. So, um, and it automatically shuts off as needed. So as the line runs down right here, it kinda, I have a, it's a long line so it loops back behind. And it comes down into this manifold that I have right here. It's a billet manifold with valves and it has three valves in it. Everything is quick connect like I see, like I showed you here, which is nice because I can take this right here. See, you hear the vacuum. Watch how quickly. So now we're back up. Anyways, what's uh, what's really cool about this is everything is running out of this manifold. So I can run three presses, and if I add more, I can unscrew this right here, add another quick connect, bridge out to another one, and so forth, and daisy chain as, as needed. Now, so let's follow this line right here, and it goes straight to my 300. This is the X, uh, HD 300. This is a big press guys. This is something that if you're going to buy this HD 300, be ready to dedicate a workbench solely for this press. It's huge. I cannot emphasize that enough. I was actually overwhelmed when I saw this. <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, this press has been sitting in the box probably for the last month and a half because I didn't know what to do with it. It's that big. It's definitely not something for a, uh, if you have small shop or something like that, I would not get this press. It's too. It's way too big for that 
type of environment if you're in a very small confined area. Now the other line basically from the from the uh, valve, the first line right there, it runs behind the workbench to my other workbench where the 200 sits. So everything's quick connect. When I open this valve the pump will come on. Oh I turned it off sorry. Let me turn up the turn off the valve. Now we can run it. So now when I come over here and run this, you hear the pump come on. We'll turn it off. So that's about how quickly the pump turns itself on and off automatically. There's no need. So as I'm working in the shop, I don't have to hear the pump just running all the time or me having to run over there and turn it off. Um, I don't have to deal with any of that. So, very cool setup. I love I love the setup that I have. Um, uh, this is probably the dream setup for a lot of people. Um, right here in between, I have my um, Geonite heat press. This is the Cadillac. It's got an electromagnet where it allows it to do hover mode, um, auto release, pop up release on certain times. Um, made in America as well. So now I have two of these. The problem is, is this thing here takes up so much space. I can't run both of them. I have no room. As you can see, the workbench is too small. So, and I need this area here the way it is. So um, we're gonna just run one for now and see how it goes. But very good setup. Very pleased with uh, HD uh, HD Industrial Design. Their products are top notch. I've had nothing but good things to say about them. Uh, very good quality. I would wish that they would round these off a little bit here. It's a little sharp on these on the 300. The 300 they do a frame, a little aluminum frame around the edge to kind of keep because it's so big. Like I said, this thing is massive, guys. Um, if you're not ready for something this big do the 200. The 200 is probably going to be the, the most optimum size for most people that are hobby formers. So with that, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this will clear up some of people's uh, questions on what I'm using and how, how everything is kind of connected. Because I get a lot of people saying, are you using a surge tank? You know, No, I'm not using a surge tank because I have a awesome pump um, but then again uh, whatever works for you and you know with your resources just make it work the best you can so uh, this is my setup there's no right or wrong way to do these things but this just happens to work for me so thanks again guys I appreciate your time uh, look forward to some more reviews on my shop and how I work uh, and I, I appreciate the support thanks again